Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just fought our way through most of the traps to get to the anvil, and uh, we're almost at the home stretch here. Looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are getting close. Almost there to the end. Really makes me wish I brought shale. This one looks unique. My name is Carabin. Or? Once, longer ago than I cared to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Oh. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed. Keridan, as in the Keridan of Keridan's Cross. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. That I knew. I remember reading that bit. Ten feet tall and invulnerable, I can think of worse faced. Well, that's true. Uh, a dire shortcut. Was it worth it? So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied, and soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. What now? Do you want revenge? Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the animal. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine. No one will take it from me. Um. Please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Yeah, um. This is an interesting development. I can choose to go against Branca, who has basically destroyed her whole house to get to the anvil or I can help the guy who made the anvil and have him be my vote for the new king this is an interesting development And I already knew what was needed to create golems. I already figured that part out because of the, you know, codex uh, input. What I want to know is if it, if I side with Branca, does she only take volunteers for it? Because she's already shown she's kind of lost her mind. So, hmm. Interesting. You were a paragon. 
I'll help you if you support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! Oh, I see now. This is more of a dwarven supremacy sort of idea <laughs> coming out of Bronca. Okay. The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Have you no desire to discover this anvil's potential? It is a marvel, a tool of creation. You could rival the Maker himself with this instrument. It is this hubris that drove the Maker from us. If you destroy the anvil, I swear you will regret it. <laughs> Persuade. And how would you like to become a golem? You would not dare. Wouldn't I, if I cared only for power? I would rather not find out. Fine. Destroy it if it pleases you. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. I don't know about shames you. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? <laughs> My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. Oh. Morgan disapproves. Ogren definitely disapproves, Something but that makes sense, considering I'm now beating his wife. Uh, <laughs> beyond that. Ow. And at least we're getting a little fight going. Oh boy. Okay, well, Liliana's dead. And Ogryn's dead. Oh joy. And everyone's dead. <laughs> well, should have seen that happening. I'll see y'all in a second. Alrighty. Here's the fight again. Ow. He got hit pretty hard. I also got hit hard again. Okay, I'm going to deal with the small golem first. Because these are actually quick enough and easy enough to just take out on the run. Okay, there we go. Take out this golem now before we focus on anything else. Oh boy. I was nearly dead. Which means I need to focus on getting her mana stores up. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Okay. At this point, we don't have a choice. We gotta get crazy with it. Lyrium in her. Bronca is just bouncing around like crazy. Oh my gods, I beheaded Bronca. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not expect that fight to be capped off with me beheading. <laughs> oh no, my inventory is full. Great, fantastic. That's what I want to know. Oh. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. 
Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the animal would kill her. But at least it ends here. Mm -hmm. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Hmm. Interesting. I can go that route, especially to m try and make it up to him after, you know, very much killing his wife. Um, Ogren, you lost Bronca to this. What do you want? Yeah, I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you? I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid well, you've given me, I shall put Hammer to steel one last time and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Hmm. Gotta tell ya. Looking at this is really weird. Big old honking metal monster hammering on an end. It is unfortunate the anvil can't be salvaged. Aye, that was my great pride. And soon enough, my shame. Fair enough. <sighs> okay. That was the thing. You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. Wait, what would you... Okay. Liberator. An Ogryn approved enough to then get minor constitution back so at least i didn't permanently lose all those points for him that's good at least whoa i am annoyed that i can't carry any of this <laughs> you gotta be kidding me man you gotta be kidding me all of this and i can't carry Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Am I able to move around? I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. Gollum Registry. Oh, this is going to be a lot of names, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to be a lot of names. Okay. Well, that 
pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Oh. Are you saying I can't come back? Is that what you're telling me? I'm going to lose all of this loot because I can't pick it up. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. Uh, to the assembly. They need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. I was about to say, if you're telling me that I can no longer come back, I am going to lose my mind. It's already annoying enough I have to leave that much loot behind that just to then tell me, oh, you're not getting it back, I think would break my brain. <laughs> Lords of the Assembly, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? I bring a crown forged by Keratin on the Anvil of the Void. Keratin was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keratin forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is a paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? He wished me to give it to whomever I chose. Why would a paragon trust someone who knows nothing of us with such a decision? This is preposterous. We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. Damn right, Liz. Damn right. And the fact that it, it becomes a deus ex, or, or a deus machina, I don't fucking know. Fucking words are hard, man, and it doesn't help that I'm still high from the night before. <laughs> but... The fact that I get this to then choose my own king regardless of my path so far. That it gives me another chance to change all of what I've done so far. Borders on insanity. <laughs> the fact that I can overwrite and redo basically everything in the progress that I've done it's crazy I'm not saying I don't appreciate it but the fact that I can just turn heel and go the other way at almost every opportunity is wild to me in this writing. It's the similar sort of thing you see out of Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is almost classic Bioware. I would say this is classic Bioware, especially considering how they've gone so far, where it's deeply corridored stories that turn out the way that the developers want it to go. At this, this classic Bioware, 
You can do whatever the fuck you want. Basically, at any opportunity. This is classic Bioware to me. But the fact that it allows so many chances is crazy. At the same time, so many chances. It's wild. Anyway, um, I grant the crown to Balin. At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orsamon. Do you acknowledge me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. Then as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. What the? Guards, seize him! What? Paramount was an honorable rival. Let him retire in peace. You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. <sighs> you have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Fair enough. I mean, I can't argue that point, then. You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. Congratulations. Bravo. Now where are my troops? My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... <laughs> I want my face. <laughs> One of those big statues. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's, it's too silly not to. I want my face on one of those big statues. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> now, I must address my other petitioners. Come back and visit sometime. Uh, of course. Will do. And Balin's ally. Ta-da! Also, I have a ton of level ups now for me and for uh, Ogryn, I think. Yeah, it was Ogryn. That was the other one. Right? I didn't really look. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, upping my points is really all I need to worry about. Um, hmm. I don't know what to up. Strength and dexterity a bit, I guess. Or did I need to do dexterity only? No, no, I'm good. I'm good on that. Need master combat training for that. That's annoying that I need that for that. <laughs> Erg. Uh, resilience. Oh, that's... That's actually something to be very good. Bonus to nature resistance and bonus to health regeneration while active. Just probably a good idea. So yeah, there we go. That works. Now, strength-wise. Um, Vanguard and Trans Mall. The fact that I... <laughs> got some things that I shouldn't be able to carry. 
is wild. <laughs> Either way. Um, Trien's Maul? It's actually not too bad. Damage versus Dark Spawn as well. Well, I mean, at that point, I have to give it. <laughs> I have to give it to Ogren. Okay. And, oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot about his level up. Oh my gods. I'm a mess. And a half. There we go. Um, yeah, up your strength. And your constitution a little. There we go. Um, let's go with that. Why not? Final blow. That would be useful. Uh, critical strike. Also useful. I need to get his strength up so he has more two-handed ability. Because getting two-handed sweep is a real good idea for him. Hmm. Might as well give him precise striking, though. Because I guess I never gave him that. <laughs> I guess I never gave him that. Alright, well, there's that done. And... I guess... The throne restored and legends put to rest. Incredible. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Can I count on you to fight the Blight at my side? Nay, our place is down here. When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. Fair enough. <laughs> I can just try to persuade him to join us at the surface anyway. Wow. We need you topside. Show the world your skill. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. But hey. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Looks like we'll still have some Haramont shenanigans. Balin is king. Future of Ozamar secure. Yep, I guess it is. I can't believe the assembly was foolish enough to put Balin on the throne. We will all suffer for it. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be Gonna be how she reacted. Another generation of Idukins takes the throne. That it does. Thanks to you, we were on the winning side. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I hear we have you to thank for putting a new Idukin on the throne. How is the surface managing without you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Haramont's estate. I wonder. There's anything going on in there. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well, I see what sort of company you've taken up. Oh, shush. Alrighty. I guess we'll talk to Garen to sell some of my crap I'm, I'm only asking that I don't need. Uh, sell junk. There we go. Now I'm down to normal levels. Jesus. Just took a flawless. Oh boy, now I have another level of stuff that I need to get for. Oh boy. Stuff I need to get for shale. Never ends, does it? Hmm. Tome of Physical Technique. That would be a good idea. Mm. 
Hmm. I do have some extra money for it. I don't know if it's extra enough to justify doing it, but, I mean, I do have extra money for it. It's not that big an issue. Alright. Great sword here. I had a feeling it had slots. <laughs> I had a feeling... Mm. I'll just keep it there for now. I trust Vala, my nug wrangling friend. I trust Vala. Okay, and so we're gonna head up now, get out of here, and then find out if I can actually get back there. Actually, you know what? I have. I probably have enough space to get all that anyway <laughs> this is gonna be an episode of me making sure i can get the loot i am sure i lost out on because i couldn't carry it it's gonna drive me up a wall if that's the case oh thank you merciful jesus <laughs> thank you merciful jebus uh, thank you, Vishnu. <laughs> Sweet Andraste's tits. Okay. Oh, boy. I was going to be so mad. <laughs> so mad. Okay. Although I'm sure getting back there is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Probably. Absolutely. So, I guess I'll see y'all in a bit once I get over to there. Okay, here I am, finally back, and now I can pick up everything I left behind. And most of it was just money. <laughs> of course it was. Of course it was just money for most of it. I think everything else was right here. Yeah, metal kite shield, medium silver bar. Who is that for? Shale, maybe? Maybe shale. And there was nothing else, and I think... Bronca... was fully looted, I think. I think. I'm not sure. But I can't find her anymore. Interesting. I really hope that that was the case. I really hope that that was the case. I got the shield. Damage versus dark spawn and beasts. Interesting. Vanguard. Stamina regeneration in combat. Three strength. Three constitution. Interesting. Okay. Before leading her house into the deep roads, Branca forged and infused this masterwork weapon with tireless, if single-minded, devotion. This weapon in hand, she would lead her people to the anvil of the void, or die trying. Well, I mean, part of that's correct. And you know what? I'm not going to have you carry that around all, all this all, all this time. Gonna give you those. Because if anything, she was your wife. You deserve that much. Get to carry her weapons, if nothing else. Okay, get rid of that. Um, Mysterians might. Ugh. Put this back. Forgemaster's Hammer or Trian's Maul. Well, um... It has more damage versus Dark Spawn, but Forgemaster's Hammer does have a lot more attack to it. And then the Fire Resistance as well. And eh, it's kind of a wash, really. I mean, the extra attack is what's really doing it for him. 
Like, the extra damage versus dark spawn is nice, but I mean, it's not the be all end all. Hmm. I'll, I'll think on that. I'll think on that for a little while. Well, now that I know, I've gotten everything here I possibly could. I guess we go back. Alrighty. Now this one's going to take longer. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Another cut, I guess. I'll see you in a second. Okay, now we're heading on our way back. And... Uh, honestly, I think I'll just head back to camp. And... Well, maybe I'll head to Soldier's Peak first and then back to camp as I drop off stuff there. And then... Shuffle around... <laughs> All of my other things involved. Such as uh, items moving to where they need to go for equipment and whatnot. <sighs> but other than that, should be all good from here on out. Hello? Hello? Good day to you. Good day to you, too. It's hard to believe we have a king again. Yeah, I, I bet. suppose the ancestors truly favor the Idukans. Well, I mean, <laughs> I did help, so there's that. But yeah, kind of. Anyway, onward we go. Out of here. Give me a moment. Sure, take your time. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Is it that strange to you? Strange? Yeah. <laughs> strange is your wife turning out to prefer the ladies. I mean... Not living in a world without a bleeding ceiling. Well... Let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, uh, daylight. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> the fact that I've moved around constantly and this is the first time he mentions it, it's kind of funny. Just a little bit. Okay, uh, Farron, I think I had... Oh, you accidentally... want to see some of the best previously owned equipment in Thedas, friend? Sure. Uh, -a I was pretty sure I've sold you stuff. Hey, there we go. Flawless natural crystals. There you go. Now I got the next step up for shale. And Knight Commander's Plate for Templars. So for Alistair. Gotcha. So with... And it doesn't have any sort of, da, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Set bonus. Chevalier's gloves clearly does. Yeah. Bonus to willpower and constitution. Might be worth it. Might. Key phrase. All right. Um... Sold him silverite heavy chainmail gloves. When did I do that? When did I do that? I have no idea. But apparently I sold him the gloves too at some point. Don't remember when I did that. Sell all junk, which is really just the shield. Okay. Cool. All right. And now we get out of here. I think that's everything. At least everything I'm willing to deal with here. Oh. It's definitely moving. <laughs> it's definitely moving a lot to this little taint going on here. 
That is an unfortunate phrase that has been... <laughs> it's unfortunate that uh, the internet has kind of ruined that word for me. Uh, hmm. Anyway, party storage. There we go. Put that there and that there for the moment. That and that too. Efforts gloves. Okay, that's good. Did Kalen's... Did Kalen's breastplate always... be silverite? I remember these things being not this quality. Uh... <laughs> Are some of these changing while I'm leveling up? I guess they might be. I guess they might be. Well, uh, um, well, <laughs> that's a thing. I didn't expect. Um, Alrighty. Uh, hmm. It's very much a thing I didn't expect at all. Uh, Morning. did I ever... I... That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I ever sold you anything, but I guess I did not. You have a lot of stuff, though. A lot of stuff. Okay. Time to head back to camp. And get everyone else's uh, stuff settled up. Cool. And I can easily do that. Uh, sure. Alistair does have a level up. Good. Up his strength. Um, I don't think I need to do anything with his constitution. Luckily. So... I guess further up his strength. <laughs> And go with willpower, I guess. Sure. Why not? Uh, do that as well. And what do we do with the shield stuff? Shield expertise would be nice. Made certain abilities more efficient. Increasing the defense bonus for shield defense and making the character immune to direct knockdown using shield wall. He uses shield defense more often, doesn't he? Yeah. So that's actually good. That's a good idea. To invest points in that. Um, assault is probably good too. Uh, but... I feel like there's something else I should be doing. Oh. Shield tactics. That's what he would need dexterity for. And then mastery would need even more. Well, crap. I guess I'm going to have to do a few points then. Uh... Need to bring that up. Just so he's able to keep up in that regard. There's that, and there's that. Good. That should be good enough for him. I would think. Oh boy, everyone else has level ups too. <laughs> oh jeez. I forgot about that. Um, got two level ups for Shale. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll put them all in strength for now until I find out what I need to do for other stuff. None of her other abilities require points. So I guess really the only thing I need to do is bring dexterity up to that. So that way she can do disengage. Ah, uh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. 
inner reserves. Hmm. Death blows definitely a good one. Do that for sure. Uh, I just don't know what points I'm gonna do for. So I already have Ver kind of kitted out as a tank. Maybe killing blow as well. Sure. And Zevran, bring him up a little bit. Let's go with Ranger. Why not? Little into Ranger. Not too shabby. Put that, put that, and I guess make him less squishy? A little less, anyway. And, and we'll do that. Coup de gras. Okay. Cool. Automatic backstabs against stunned or paralyzed targets. That's probably good. That combat stealth. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll give him dual weapon sweep. Because that's something I need to start working on. Getting him down that tree. And Sten. Oh, we'll give you Berserker. We'll give you that. That sounds good to me. And then... Up that, I guess. Actually, no. I don't think he needs it that badly. And a little more in strength, I guess. That's probably not too shabby. Learning more of that. Uh, how's... Hmm. Two-handed sweep is probably good. And I don't know what else to get you. I don't know what else. Let's go with Critical Strike. Let's get you finished up with the two-handed tree as much as possible. And then Piff is really the only one who still needs a level up. And... Uh, willpower, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no idea what else to give him. Most everything doesn't require stamina. Well, actually, no, that that's not true. Most of them do. Uh, give him death blow. Why not? Why not? Okay. Well, that takes care of all of that. And now everything else is just getting people equipped. Which reminds me I should have done that with Shale. Since I got the new stuff and large f wall <laughs> large flawless g gives her a green aura now wow i have a question for it if it will indulge me my understanding is that it encountered the smith named caradin he who was responsible for the creation of the golems that he had become a golem himself what mm -hmm. i do not know is what became of him why did he not return with it I would have many questions for him. I should have expected this. Um, I'm so sorry. He killed himself. He killed himself? Ah, oh, I would doubt it, but no. I see it is telling the truth. May I ask what became of the Anvil of the Void? 
Assuming that it too still existed? It was destroyed, as Caradin wanted. Then it was no doubt for the best. With Caradin also goes any chance I might have had of finding answers on my past, I assume. Tell me, did it find out anything from Caradin? Anything at all about how I might have been made? The anvil made golems from living souls. Meaning that I was once a living creature? That seems highly unlikely, and more than a little insulting. Is it certain? You were once squishy. Sad, but true. Hmm. Was I forced into this? Or simply glad to abandon a frail body? And more importantly, who was I? I simply must know. I cannot help but believe that answers lie elsewhere in the deep roads. We must look. I'll see what I can do. If it can search the deep roads, I may remember something. If not, then I will have to wait. A Gollum's Memories. Ah, uh, is that a thing I can do? Alistair's family and Liliana's past. Oh, all of those are in Denerim. Oh boy, I'm going to have to go to Denerim now. Oh geez, oh gosh. But I'm definitely going to do this. This is going to be what we're going to focus on. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly where to look. But, as it is right now, I'm working on getting everyone re-equipped and re-sorted and re-itemized, I guess is the word I want to go with. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to say we're going to end the episode here for right now, and I will figure this out later. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying my damnedest to figure out what the hell we're doing. Uh, after we have finally not only put Balin on the throne. But apparently also destroyed the Anvil of the Void. Uh, took away Bronca from the Paragon. Well, I guess I took away Bronca from the Paragon from the Dwarven people, but that was because she had lost her mind about the Anvil, not knowing what it truly takes to make more golems. But then again, she seemed willing to throw people and kill people anyway. Just throw them to the wolves. So maybe it would have technically worked out i don't know what i know is that it was crazy so i'm kind of happy for the decision we made and we'll see how that goes i guess in the future and also will help shale for me and for you